Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host here. That is right. It is Team Rai Rai. How is everyone doing out there? On this Sunday's edition, I am doing wonderful. Everyone out there, I have social media accounts. But don't worry. I'll discuss my social media accounts when the video is completely over. Thank you. Now, I want you guys and gals to sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat. Or grab some of the drink, or maybe just maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. And there's no article, or there's no link because it is a review of night one of WrestleMania 40. Now, the first thing before I discuss these matches, in my opinion, the stage in the ramp was impressive, especially at nighttime. The lights, wow, I love it. And another thing is, before I go any further, where was the pyro? Where was the pyro to kick off WrestleMania? That has a huge fail. I feel sorry for all the wrestling gurus around the world are looking forward to that. They should. 40 year anniversary of WrestleMania, and you don't even deliver? What the hell? I don't understand that. I know they did it later on in the show, but we want to see it to kick off. Even the video package. That kind of thing. Come on, W. Okay. That's the only beef I have about that. Now, the first match, it was Rhea Ripley, Mama, versus Beck Lynch for Rhea Ripley Women's World Title. I really thought this would be later on in the show. What about you? And, of course, the right person won. Now, a lot of people think this is might be Becky Lynch's last match in the WWE because her contract is going to expire sometime, I think, less than two months. Plus, maybe that's why she lost. She can do a book tour. So maybe she's going to take some time off. Who knows? It was a very good match. And we could tell that it was very, very cold. I think it got up to 50 degrees yesterday. Sorry, last night, especially when the sun went down. So that sucks. I know that the ring is heated. That's good for the wrestlers, but well, about the fans? The fans got to suffer even more than the wrestlers, the performers. So that sucks. So it's a very good match. Now the next match, I don't know if this was the next match or not. I think it was... It was the ladder match for both belts online. And it was a very good match. And I'm so glad no more undisputed tag team thing. It was way overdue to split the belts. A lot of great spots, a lot of great moments. And I'm so happy um, Awesome Truth got their moment, especially our truth He'd been in his business for years. And he never got a WrestleMania moment. What the hell, W? Why you wait so long of getting um, R Truth his damn moment? The Miz did many years ago. Remember at that WrestleMania? So it was a very good, you know? The right team won for a Raw. Now, on the other side, um, let me see here. Um, let's see. Let, me, let me look here. Downtown. You know, the, those guys, they won the SmackDown brand. I'm trying to look if it's on here. I'm assuming it is. Yeah, it's on here. So they won it. But my opinion, they're not going to hold the belts that long. Probably going to have some arguments. Probably going to drop it to someone. Now, our truth awesome our truth they have a great chemistry. But let's see who's going to hold on to the belts longer. The guys... From Raw brand or the guy from SmackDown brand. And they were this close of one of the belts the other side. Like the Judgment Day. Okay, I know the Judgment Day are very unhappy. They have no belts. Boo-hoo-hoo. They have a very good run. Okay. So it was a very good thing. Now the next one. I know probably this is not in order, but I'm sorry. Is Rey Mysterio and Johnny. Versus Dom Dom and his partner. That was a very good match. And of course, 
two guys with a mask on, former members of the Field of Eagles. So the Eagles fans are very happy. So they helped out Rey Mysterio. So I don't think Rey Mysterio and Dom Dom Mysterio feud is over with. They might have another match at some time. It all depends how WWE wants to book this. Next match, a lot of people, people did not care about. I did not care about either. Brother versus brother. This is the third time in the WrestleMania history. Now, this is a letdown, okay? The build-up was amazing. But, of course, the match was a letdown. Super kick, super kick, super kick, super kick. Come on, W, Do better. And, of course, off the top rope, frog, frog splash. Why? They did not have no stipulation. They should have. Use like king hole sticks, chairs, something, then people get more involved. But I don't think anybody was anybody give a damn about, about it. Hopefully, this is one and done with this feud. Or it might continue the next time they will duke it out on SmackDown or whatever. So, frankly, disappointing performance. Next match, I think it was the best match of the night, hands down. You have Gunther, the long in. IC champion of all time versus Sami Zayn. Now, before that, he had a little pep talk with his wife and his kid. Awesome. And, of course, Chad Gable. He said, if he wins, you owe me a favor. So, guess what? Sami Zayn, the unthinkable of Shock the World, of uh, dethroning the longest IC champion in Gunther. About darn time. Now, does that mean... Um, Gunther is done with the IC pitcher or not. I uh, hopefully he's done and go on to bigger and better things. Hopefully. Please, W, please. Enough is enough with his IC title run. I know he 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 deserves an IC title rematch, but maybe if he if he gets a rematch, he will lose that too. Hopefully. Okay. I don't know what's next for Sammy, so I guess Sammy Zane versus Chad Gable. Probably on Raw or whatever. And probably Chad Gable will turn heel. Next match, the match people don't give a darn about, but probably I am wrong. It's a six women's tag team match. You have um, the former number of AEW, sorry, um, Jay Cargill, Blanca Belair, and Nomi. All those ladies have an awesome entrance, hands down. But the right team won. They beat Damon Control. Hopefully, Damon Control was out of the picture. Probably not. So it's okay match. Nothing spectacular. Now the main event of all main events: we have The Rock and Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes and Seth. This match took forever to get going. I'm sorry. And The Rock was mad with the referee. He said the f bomb, and Peacock did not beep it out. I'm very surprised. Wow, Peacock, you dropped the ball. Other networks beeps it, like um, USA Network. But Peacock lets it go. Probably because The Rock told Peacock, don't beep it out. So it's a very good thing. Now, the thing I really want to discuss, the marquee thing, when Roman accidentally speared The Rock instead of Corey Rhodes. So that's going to set up for tonight. And also, it was cool to see Seth and Cody did a, a double pedigree. But when the match is when the match is over, The Rock and Roman Reigns win. So that means bloodline bloodline rules match. It's like tonight, but it's gonna go more different. So a lot of people say the return of Austin, the return of John Cena is gonna be. A, a train wreck tonight, hopefully. Because if not, then Cody Rose will never ever finish his story. You know? We'll see what's gonna happen. You know? And Cody Rose once again backed up and he was gonna do his other finishing with a rock, use that belt, weight belt, and that was a dagger. Cody Rhodes, why you do that? You should just finish it in the middle of the ring. Come on now. You're a veteran in this company or in, in the wrestling business, you should know better. Whatever, you know. But overall, it was a solid card. I really enjoy it. No doubt about it. But I guaranteed Night 2 is going to blow out Night 1. Probably I'm totally wrong. But Night 2, 
I will review it tomorrow sometime. Sorry, I'm going a little overboard. So that's it. That's all I have to say. Now you guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. Now, if you want to be part of the Rara Show, that's fine and dandy. If not, don't worry about it. Now, bonus thing. Um, people ask Triple H about Brock Lesnar in the press conference. He's not done. He just away from the W right now. So maybe he will come back and help out Corey Rhodes in that moment tonight. We'll see if that does happen. You know? Now, that's all I'll say. If I miss some things out, I'm sorry. I can't go in a lot more detail because this video is going in long enough. See you guys tonight of the return of wrestling news and all good stuff.